Okay, so disaster diverted. Um, I, I was really hoping to video putting this on, and but you know, it just happened so fast I didn't. Um, what happened, we had a beautiful sunny day today. It's November 4th, I believe. Uh, there aren't many of these left. Uh, to do the EPDM rubber roof, it's got to be 40 and rising uh, for the glue. So, uh, when I got up this morning, you know, I had this whole thing covered in plastic. When I got up this morning, I could see beads of condensation under the plastic where water had gotten in somehow between the plywood and the plastic and... The plastic was then doing more harm than good because it was just holding the moisture in. So at 9.30 this morning, I pulled the plastic off and the sun was on it then. It's over the house now, so it's shade. But sun was on it. It was fairly breezy. I got that plywood dried out good and I went to Menards. I know, dirty word, but they're the only ones that have it. Um, went and got the EPDM. Uh, 10 by 20 sheet of it and my roof is 14 foot by 9 foot 3 or so uh, was just enough width wise no seams and I got a gallon of glue and uh, called my neighbor Darren and he helped me and we got it put on and now I'm just letting the glue set uh, I tacked those strips on there to hold it down so the wind can't blow it up till the glue dries. And eventually there's going to be trim strips holding all the edges down. So uh, those loose ends there, some of them, will get, it'll get trimmed a little bit. Uh, and then fastened under the trim. So uh, that's where we're at. The roof's on it now. Not planned to be done just yet, but kind of became necessary so now we don't have to worry about it and uh, like I said there aren't many days left in November that are gonna be warm enough that I could have done it so it's good I got it done while I could pretty colors pretty sunshine blue sky it was a good day Thought I'd give you a little more detail here. Um, that's the adhesive. Uh, it's like $65 a gallon. So it better be pretty good stuff. But the way my fingers are stuck together, it's pretty sticky. Um, and you just roll that on the roof. You, well, there's two ways to put it on. It, it has... You can do a wet application or a dry application. With a dry, you use it like contact cement. You, you paint the bottom of the membrane and the roof and let it tack up and then stick the two together. But doing that, you can't move it. Or you can do a wet application. You just put it on the substrate, the plywood, a little bit heavier than the other way and go ahead and lay your rubber on it while it's wet. You can slide it around and uh, broom the air pockets out of it, and that's the way I did it. So uh, I just used a, a paint roller on a long handle like that over there, uh, and that's how I rolled it on the plywood and uh, and then stuck the membrane to it. So hopefully that works. All right, so here's a quick little clip. Um, I just bought the rest of the metal to finish the siding on the outside of the gypsy wagon. And that was $186 for two more rolls. Uh, and it's a little nerve-wracking cutting it because I have just enough 
if I screw up anything, I'm going to have to buy a whole nother $90 roll. Uh, boy, I got to figure this arch. And what I did was save a scrap from cutting the plywood ends as a template. And in theory, that arch I marked should be right. God, I hate, I hate to start cutting, but got to do it sometime. Here we go. You'll see in a minute how I did. Okay, not too bad. Uh, I had to just cut a couple little notches in there, make a little adjustment to, to get it going uh, perfectly square vertically. Uh, and I went inside and marked to cut for the door and I'm going to cut it a little large so that it can wrap around. Uh, and it's just tacked there with a couple of nails that I'll pull back out to cut it and I'll be back here in a few minutes. Oh yeah, one other thing too. Uh, don't let it through you because it did me for a minute. That looks like it's hanging way crooked, but remember that that wall slopes out, so it should not be parallel with that corner. So we're good. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, guess that was a success. Uh, there's a little bit of buckle here and there i can straighten out a little bit yet and uh it'll be good okay time to call it a day back end's half done uh I trimmed in around the steps and so far so good Tomorrow morning, we'll finish the back. See you then. Okay, so I started without you this morning. Uh, back's pretty well done. The metal part. Um, I gotta nail down a couple edges that wrap around here yet. And then I'm ready to go down the other side. Oh no, next I'm gonna do the um, that arch inside there. I think what's left on the roll I'm working on will just do that. Okay, so that's next after I tack those edges down. So the next morning I planned on working on more of the siding, but when I got up it was freezing. So I decided to take a little field trip. And uh, I need brackets for under the roof overhang in the back, some kind of corbel. And I looked at wood ones, thought about wood ones, um, Preferred the wrought iron. I just like that wrought iron look, and there's going to be plenty of wood trim anyway, so it gives a little variety. So uh, I checked Hobby Lobby and a bunch of places that people have said they had them, but they just don't have the bigger ones in my area. So I decided to go to some architectural salvage yards and see what I could find. Let's go take a field trip. Have some fun with me. This was a really cool day. Okay, there yeah, we are. Um, this is a huge place, and it's just hard to tell what in the world I might find here, but um, I guess we'll find out. Could be anything. Be back. Good Lord, I wish I had thought of this place before I did my roof. They've got sheet metal 
roof metal siding everywhere. Uh, I don't know if it would have saved me any money really in the long run or not, but interesting. They've got every color in a rainbow and bunches of it. Be back. Good golly, I think those are all ATMs. Sheesh. So I talked to the guy that runs the place and told him what I'm looking for. And he couldn't think of anything that he has. He just sold all the corbels and the uh, house architectural stuff. About two weeks ago, somebody came in and bought everything he had uh, in, in the wood stuff. And... Uh, he had some uh, iron fencing that I thought maybe cut up could be made to work, but uh, yeah, I looked at it, it didn't really flip my trigger or any. So uh, he said, well, walk around, you never know, see what you find, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, this place is just so huge, there could be anything here. It's just hard to say what could be buried or what's uh, laying around that has long been forgotten. <laughs> Wonder if there's any money in any of those. Well, it's just hard to believe amongst all that rubble and junk, I couldn't find anything, but just didn't find anything at all that was, that I could even make something out of. Not sure. Uh, some of that fence that they talked about, it, the, the fancies in there just weren't big enough. Uh, it's just not what I'm looking for, so. I, I've been here an hour and a half just thinking there could be something buried tucked down under that they forgot about that would be perfect. I didn't find it. So, oh well, I'll find it eventually. All right, so I found another salvage place. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile or not, but it was kind of on the way home, so we're going to check it out. Be back. Well, that was another bust. Uh, huge place again. It had five bays. And they were... I mean, it had doors, windows, sinks, toilets, tubs, a lot of wood trim, drawers and doors, cabinets, kitchen cabinets, cabinet doors, um, a lot of stuff I might want to come back and check out while finishing the interior. A lot of tile, floor tile, oh, lots of uh, vinyl peel and stick flooring. That I'll be interested in. Uh, nothing I could make work for my roof bracket, so. So, now, the search continues. All right, so I just found a third salvage place. Well, they call it a salvage place. <laughs> Uh, and it's right on the way home, but they're not open today. Um, they're only open Saturday this week because they're having a big open house. And I described what I wanted, and they have them. And they're only $275 a piece. 
Now the good news. Uh, they are having a raffle Saturday for their open house at five dollars a ticket. And if you win the raffle, you get a pair of these corbels. Well, I might just have to go up there Saturday and buy a five dollar ticket. What the hell? But that's the name of that. That's where we're at. And so we pretty much didn't have any success today. But we'll see what happens. Be back. All right, so this is stop number three. And they don't have any kind of corbels or anything. But what they do have is cabinet doors. Thousands of cabinet doors. Doesn't matter what size, doesn't matter what finish, doesn't matter what wood, five bucks a piece. So I will be back for these at some point. But that doesn't help with the overhang. Anyway, it's fun. It's lots of fun. And flooring. My God, the flooring they have. Okay. Boy, if I was a millionaire, I could live here. All right, that's enough fun for one day. Uh, time to go home and put some aluminum on the side. It's got a lot warmer now. It's probably around 36, 38. So I can live with that. Uh, the search continues. They had nothing. Yeah, well, I'm having fun looking. Hey, I just thought of one more place. Uh, it's actually just an antique shop, not really an architectural place. But they quite often have old farm implements and architectural stuff, pieces off barns. You just never know what they might have. Uh, and actually, it's not on the way home, it's a little past home. I just passed the, the road I live on. Uh, it's about three miles down the road here. And what the hey, I got time to kill. I'll, uh, I'll go check it out. You never know. See you here in a minute when we get there. kind of stuff like this yeah never know shutters ladders wagon wheels there's some porch posts so you never know what we might find here we'll see Alright, that's it. For today, I give up. Uh, they had shutters, windows, doors, punch tin ceiling. Uh, a lot of architectural stuff, but no corbels and no great big huge shelf brackets of any kind that I could make work. So, the hunt goes on.